Welcome to another Reaper blog video. Today we're talking about Balancer, which is a collaboration with Sonable and Focusrite. It's a free plugin that rebalances using AI, and it's actually pretty awesome. So I've got a project here. This was my speed drum synth wave demo project. I've got Sonable Focusrite Balancer loaded up on the master track. Uh, I've got it after the bus compressor, and this is a pretty minimal project. It's got a couple different drum machines doing different kits. I've got a couple layers of bass and other synths. So I'll play this section that I've trained the AI on. So I'm gonna take this section, hit this relearn button, or the first time you load it, it's just gonna say learn. Hit that, play the track. It's gonna compare the frequency response of your incoming audio to its database or, or whatever algorithm it is of various frequency responses of what it's supposed to sound like. And then this other button, that, which says universal here, is actually kind of like a different types of sounds that you would put things on. Universal, vocals M, vocals F, keys, A guitar, E guitar, bass, drums, kick, snare, hi-hat. And so I've kept this project very simple. We're gonna use three instances of balancer and just see if it makes an improvement, see if it actually gives us interesting options. So I'm gonna bring the intensity up to 100%. It goes up to 150%. And we'll just hear how this has changed the sound. Bypassed. It kind of brings out some interesting clarity, uh, different kind of mid-range and highs. Warm. So warm really darkens the high end, thickens the low end in a nice way, bright, and bright, thins the lows, enhances the highs. None of them really sound bad, but maybe just a little inappropriate for this particular track. So I'm gonna switch it to neutral, bring the intensity down a bit, and I'm actually gonna bypass it because I wanna see on the individual tracks um, if we can get some more interesting results. So let's go to another section of the song where these synths are a little more active. I'm gonna add in another balancer just on the synth bus. I'm gonna switch this mode to keys and let's learn this. I think that sounds good to me, and it's annoying that it was that easy. I just drop this on, hit learn, plays it back, I pick between three colors and adjust the intensity, and I do like it more. So it's really, really simple. Here's the website. This is a collaboration with Focusrite and Sonable. You can click this link here to get it for free. Uh, shout out to the noise floor. Brandon uh, made a video about this. It was not on my radar, I never would have found this if it wasn't for him, so I'm spreading the word because it's actually been useful. I've used it on a few projects now. So Balancer will balance your audio tracks in just a few seconds. Its heart is Sonable Smart Engine, which is also behind Smart Comp, Smart EQ3, and Smart Reverb. And this will be under the Focusrite brand inside the DAW. I'm not sure why that is what it is. Tonal balance in seconds, profiles to prime algorithm for different source signals, and three different options for sound character. And I guess this is just kind of a, a taste of Sonable's product line and maybe an, an introduction to using AI in audio engineering. I've been pretty much against AI because <laughs> it either does something really wrong or uh, I end up having to redo it or it just it's, seems like a unnecessary shortcut 
or, you know, just putting in the hard work of getting the mix right. But I do enjoy using this plugin. So that's why I'm sharing it today. And now let's add in another instance on the drum track, same section. Uh, we'll just switch this to switch this to drums and learn. So that really brings out the snare in a different way, which is pretty interesting. I don't I don't think I like what it's done to the kick drum though. Let's try this on a different mode. Let's try universal. Back to drums. Just kick. Just snare. Hi-hat. Bass, guitar. Yeah, I think I like it better on neutral with the drums uh, algorithm and the intensity somewhere like 75% or something. And as you saw there, there's lots of different varieties of sound you can get just by going through this list here. Choosing the wrong algorithm for what you're work processing can get some unexpected results, something you wouldn't probably do if you were just using a parametric EQ. So that's really interesting and a very quick workflow. Now that we've used Balancer on the drums and the keys, uh, let's retrain the master version or the, the instance on the master and see how that changes the result. I hear when the intensity is all the way down, that kick has a nice long low tail to it and uh, bringing it up shortens that, tightens the kick. And so just finding a balance. And I'm gonna switch this to warm. And bright. Super easy to use, lots of color options to choose from without being overwhelmed with options. Let's look at one more thing. I'm gonna to go to the view menu, go to the project media effects bay, go over to my effects, and I've got balancer here, and I'll just bypass all three of these at once. So off, and then on. So there you go, that is Balancer from Sonable and Focusrite. It's a free plugin, check it out if you're interested. I think it's well worth trying out and uh, yeah, using in a few projects. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.